So as you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I thought this is a really important time to talk about the risk of breast cancer for women over the age of 30 who have NF. Um, I didn't know about this risk until I finally went to see an adult doctor um, when I was 37 and I was told, well, have you had breast cream? And I'm like, well, no, I mean, and they're like, oh, well, you should be doing that. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I actually was enrolled into a study which actually tracks breast cancer and screenings in women with NF. And so I went along to Royal North Shore Hospital and so in the first year, they actually do a mammogram, an MRI, and an ultrasound. The mammogram and it was a little bit uncomfortable, like it, it is a little bit sort of painful, but it's important. So I got the mammogram and the MRI is fine, like that's no pain at all. You just have to sort of lie there on your belly and they do the scan of your breasts. And then the ultrasound, again, no pain. They just use the wand to look for anything that's any lumps or anything based on what they find in the MRI. So the MRI report actually drives what they do in the ultrasound. So last year when I had my first ultrasound, they did find a lump that was a little bit suspicious and they said we have to do a biopsy and I wasn't expecting that. So I was a little bit taken aback when they told me and the doctor came in to do the biopsy and they basically anesthetized the area where they wanted to get the biopsy from and they they put one needle in to get one sample and they took out the sample then they put a second needle in to get a second sample just in case and then the third needle they put in actually leaves a marker on the lump so then they know that they've actually tested this lump before so later on down the track when they do scans they know that this lump has been looked at and thankfully that lump was benign and there was nothing serious about it but they said it does have to come out at some point because it does have the risk of turning cancerous so that is something I will have to look at so it's really important that you go and get these scans so they can establish a, a establish a baseline and b just check every year just to make sure things are okay it doesn't take that long I think I spent a total of one hour at the hospital for the MRI and mammogram and then an hour at the hospital for the ultrasound and the biopsy. So it wasn't that bad. It's not scary. Um, it was the first time, but now that I'm used to it, it's not scary. And if you want, take someone with you if you're really scared, because that really helps. Anyway, thank you for listening and have a great day.